Hi there, greetings from North Bay. My name is Ryan Culhane, and I'm a teacher at West Ferris Intermediate and Secondary School. I first want to congratulate you on uh, applying to host a championship or multiple Office of Championships uh, this coming year, and I want to congratulate you on being uh, the successful um, host cities or host venues uh, for those championships. It is a wonderful adventure, um, moments that I'll never forget uh, throughout my teaching and coaching career, and uh, certainly a lot of work involved in convening the championships, uh, but what a blast to see our student athletes from across the province uh, competing at such a high level uh, for the various championships. So congratulations to you on being in the position that you're in right now, uh, attending a convener workshop. Um, I was asked to uh, bring a couple of notes to you with respect to some challenges that may crop up with respect to hosting a championship. Uh, a little bit of background about me, I've been teaching 17 years. Uh, I've been involved on the organizing committee for 12 Office of Championships uh, throughout the years. Um, seven of those I've been the convener uh, for various ones including uh, mostly soccer and of course uh, badminton this past year. So I have a little bit of experience, um, but uh, this past championship, uh, about a week ago, uh, with respect to the girls A and AA soccer here in North Bay, uh, threw a bit of a wrinkle at me and at many of us, including uh, Lexi and uh, lots of local people, uh, that we really didn't expect. Uh, the issue that we came up with, or that cropped up, uh, was with respect to accommodations. Believe it or not, one week prior to the championship, uh, it was brought to my attention by a few of the coaches that were trying to register and uh, find accommodations in North Bay um, that there were no hotel rooms available. Um, despite us hosting both the boys A and AA last year with no issues with respect to hotels, um, this year for whatever reason, um, we found that there were teams one week prior to the championship uh, that couldn't find accommodations. Um, this wasn't planned. Um, I went through the proper channels uh, in North Bay this past year. Uh, there was a thought to go through a Tourism North Bay group, uh, which was a central booking that many championships, whether it's through OFSA or not, uh, that many tournaments go through in various cities, uh, go through a central booking agency that then finds hotels. So we thought, okay, in North Bay, let's get uh, onto that as well. And it was suggested to me that I go through this Tourism North Bay group. And one week prior to the championships, the hotel rooms that apparently were booked for me and this double championships with 40 teams coming into North Bay, uh, the block of hotel rooms were released. Yeah, your reaction probably right now was the same reaction that I had. Um, and the same reaction that Lexi and many other people had that tried to pick up the pieces again one week prior to the championships. Uh, so, I did find out that the hotel rooms were gone. Um, after many phone calls in and around North Bay, trying to call every possible hotel to find out uh, if there's any rooms available, even a couple here and there, uh, we found out that it was pretty well booked solid. So, of course, we had to uh, try and look outside the city. We were looking at places like Sturgeon Falls, which is about a half an hour away, uh, Mattawa, about 30 to 40 minutes away, and believe it or not, we even had to look out to places like Huntsville and Sudbury, which respectively are about an hour and a half, an hour and 20 to an hour and a half away from the city. Again, not something that I wanted to do by any means, and I had to trust in uh, a particular group to take care of the accommodations for me, and uh, that didn't obviously happen, or didn't happen correctly. Um, it's my understanding that there is a bit of a follow-up to try and find out uh, what happened in the, with that situation and uh, I'm hoping that uh, there are some answers for me um, moving forward and potentially hosting future championships uh, in North Bay. Um, so that's what happened, hotel rooms released. Um, what did we do then to try and um, accommodate, no pun in the word accommodate, but to make some changes with respect to those teams that might be pushed uh, out of town. Uh, several things. First off, um, with their accommodations being that far away, potentially an hour and 20 to an hour and 30 minutes uh, out of town, of course registration, which for soccer was the evening before competition, 
Uh, we weren't expecting teams to travel an hour and a half all the way in and an hour and a half all the way back out, three hours of driving just to register. So we opened up uh, a second opportunity to register for soccer. It was at the field before their first game where there was the exchange of uh, eligibility sheets and uh, code of conduct forms and all of the other paperwork and checks and receipts. Uh, so that was done uh, prior to their first game. Uh, for everybody else staying in North Bay, it was registration as per normal uh, the day before. Um, we also have championship photos with the banner, uh, which again for teams in North Bay was the day before on the Wednesday. Uh, for those teams that were staying out of North Bay, um, luckily my photographer at the last minute, I begged her to try and stay around for the Thursday, for the, the next day, day one of competition. And uh, teams had the uh, option either before their first game or after their first game to go and get their photos done uh, at our central registration and photo spot. So uh, fortunately that worked out for many of the teams and they took advantage of getting their photos done then. Um, with respect to the coaches meeting, so our coaches meeting again is typically done that registration day the day before with teams potentially not coming in to the city on the Wednesday and teams leaving early Thursday morning uh, to try and get to their accommodations wherever they were, uh, we had to be a little bit creative. Um, so uh, it was a suggestion um, that I put together a coaches, a virtual coaches meeting uh, via uh, technology like you're seeing right now, via video. Um, so with the help of uh, my fellow colleagues here in our, uh, our laptop program at West Ferris, um, I put together a uh, video which is linked off the soccer website and perhaps Lexi uh, can show you that. Um, maybe a, only a section of it, it's 27 minutes long, so you probably don't want to watch the entire thing. Uh, but it was basically the speaking points that I would go through at the regular coaches meeting. So teams and coaches had the luxury uh, in their travels or in their preparations on the Wednesday evening prior to competition or Thursday prior to their first game to click on that video, uh, watch the virtual coaches meeting and get all of the speaking points uh, in order to get prepared for the championships, rules of play and all those kind of things. For everybody else staying in North Bay, the coaches meeting was as per normal, it was mandatory for those people staying in North Bay uh, and I did a live version uh, at our venue of course uh, with the majority of the coaches as it turned out. Uh, so, um, coaches meeting certainly had to be uh, adjusted. We went with a bit of a virtual for those that uh, could tap in online. Uh, we also had to adjust the playing schedule a little wee bit. We offered for a half an hour later start time um, on each of the pool play days. Uh, gave just an extra half an hour for those teams traveling from out of town to get into town and not having to have them wake up and get their athletes, student athletes ready at uh, uh, crazy early times in the morning. Uh, and a lot of the teams appreciated that staggered start by a half an hour. Uh, with respect to the banquet, the banquet of course was a mandatory piece and uh, once again uh, after the first day of competition is when we host our banquet. and. Um, Rather than teams playing their second game of the day, traveling an hour and a half out of town to get showered, traveling an hour and a half back into town for the banquet, then an hour and a half back out, um, which would be approximately uh, six hours of travel time that day, um, we opened up uh, the shower facilities both at the two local high schools and at uh, our banquet facility, which was uh, our Memorial Gardens, our, our large uh, sports arena. So the teams were instructed to bring their own towels, toiletries, their uh, wares, their dresses, uh, skirts, those kind of things because it was a girls competition uh, and for some of the male coaches obviously in their attire. Uh, to the competition day they could shower in North Bay while they were still here uh, and get ready for the banquet and then only travel back after the banquet. Um, and again there were lots of teams that said hey great idea, thanks for doing that saves us, uh, again, an extra three hours of uh, travel time uh, on top of playing a full competition day. Um, and then uh, finally we encouraged and we uh, sought out uh, more accommodation options. Uh, fortunately our university came through with opening up residences that uh, weren't normally or wouldn't normally be available this time of year. Uh, so they opened up a few more beds for us. 
Um, and as we got closer to the weekend, believe it or not, uh, more hotel rooms got freed up. So thankfully for all of our teams, um, as they progressed through the championship, as they kept moving forward, uh, we asked teams, we didn't require, but we asked teams that if they could change their hotel room from um, staying outside, like in Huntsville on one night, to gradually moving their way into North Bay uh, by the second or third day if they moved on to the playoff round, uh, then that would be great. And as it turned out, there were a couple of teams that made it on to the uh, championship Saturday. Uh, that moved their accommodations, thankfully, into North Bay when the availability uh, became free. Uh, and as it turned out, all of our teams on Championship Saturday in both of the events uh, did end up staying in North Bay and we could go with a regular schedule for our championship round. So, uh, certainly there had to be some accommodations that were made, um, and I think the feedback that we've had from the, the coaches was uh, good. Um, it was tough times. Um, it was a really stressful weekend. Uh, we had uh, lots of conference calls with um, our local office uh, rep, uh, Heather, uh, with Lexi and with Donna. Thankfully, those people were there uh, to offer some suggestions and to, to hear my case and to hear what went wrong. Again, nothing from my perspective. Um, I've had this championship booked for two and a half years, since January 2014, and just a week before, the accommodations kind of blew up in my face. Um, so, after conference calls, after the thought of maybe pushing dates of the championship, which wasn't a great, we decided it wasn't a great idea. Um, there was even a thought of changing cities uh, because of this foul up. Um, it was decided to keep the dates. Unfortunately, teams had to stay out of town. We made the accommodations for the registration, for the coaches meeting, uh, for the banquet, uh, opening up shower facilities. Uh, trying to push teams into North Bay out as it went on and it went off as well as it possibly could. I think everybody had a great championship. Uh, there were smiles by all the girls all the way around and uh, uh, we would consider it a big success after everything. So I want to wrap up by just talking about a few uh, things that you'll want to have in place and um, if it were me moving forward in a championship, if I was in your position right now, uh, I think that for our major pieces for any of the championships, it could include uh, venues, um, your playing fields or courts or ice rinks or those kind of things, venues, uh, your banquet facilities and banquet uh, caterer, accommodations obviously, uh, your officials and your clothing supplier. Visit them personally get things in writing, get contracts in writing, that way you have something to go back on. With respect to the accommodations, my suggestion moving forward is if, there are, if you have to go through a block booking agency, make sure that the accommodations and the hotels will not drop your bookings, will not release your bookings until the very last moment. My suggestion would be that whatever your first day of competition is, make sure that your uh, hotels keep your rooms up to and including that day because there could be teams that through associations not sending teams at the last minute there could be teams that need accommodations at the very very last minute and you would don't want to be in the position that uh, I and we were in um, a week prior to the championship scrambling for hotel rooms and hearing the uh, concerns from uh, some of the coaches as they were coming in uh, again get things in writing, make sure your accommodations are booked right up to and including the first day of competition. Don't let them release your, your hotel rooms because that is common practice with hotels as I've found out is to release these and our teams probably haven't even qualified yet. Um, so um, I made it through it and you will make it through it too and it's a great experience. Uh, enjoy every bit of it. Uh, it is a ride, uh, it is a rush and um, have a good strong committee behind you, have trustworthy people and uh, I'm sure the office, of office um, they're just a phone call or an email away, they've been super helpful throughout the years uh, and uh, good luck with your championships. If you need anything or need any advice, feel free to drop me an email, Alexi and Seamus can share it with you, it's ryan.colhain at nearnorthschools.ca. Uh, come up and visit me in North Bay. We welcome you here. I'm sure I can find you in hotel rooms. Uh, thanks very much, everybody, and uh, good luck.